Good morning. It is the 29th. So after today, we got two more days of Dogtober. Now this video I previously released. You may have seen it. I have edited it. Edited it. Edited it. Edited. It's edited. Okay. Parts are cut out. Where feelings were hurt. But it's Dogtober. And it was a day that I made a whole video. So I want to put it back up. Sorry if you haven't. If you've seen it, watch it again. It's for, for charity, man. Every bit of my revenue for this month is going to Furry Tales Rescue to help save the dogs, man. And they need your help. There are links in the description if you want to help that way too. But you don't have to. You can always help your local rescue as well. Alright, enjoy the video. Right. Well, it's been much, much worse. It's actually not too bad. It's just them bikes take up a lot of room. There's five bikes back there. And this mattress. I think I just need to take it to the dumpster. And some pieces of pegboard. That stuff could be stored somewhere. Uh, but there's some things in here I need to get rid of. Make some more room. And some of these, I need to go through and get some of these tools that are in here and get them in the other shop. And there's just a few things that I've got to deal with. I don't know, maybe put up a few more shelves once we get some stuff cleared out. But that's what we got. And then, of course, I need to move these dog houses. And I got some lumber in here. <laughs> That's just wonderful. There's some cedar under there, a solar panel, an empty paint can. Don't know why that, but it is. All right, and I need to get my saws out of the screen patio. Get all the stuff out of there because I want to board that up again this winter, so I can use the gym that I haven't used yet. Yeah, and there's Lily. And once there's room at some point today, I'm going to take that air conditioner out of the window. It is freezing in here. It was 30 degrees here this morning, at least on my thermometers. The dog's ice uh, water bowl had ice on top, so we did get a freeze. So a lot of these weeds will be dying, and we'll get to that in the next few days. Uh, that quit working. I don't know, something with the settings or whatever, but it will not burn will not burn so i ain't got time full of that today we got some work to do but i gotta get some tools in here that are i got some totes out there in that shed that have a bunch of hand tools and things like that and yeah they didn't like the review i did on that laser they don't like because it's in the uh enclosure i gotta do it outside of the enclosure so it's going outside for the test and it ain't gonna happen until november because i'm too busy to start another whole new review all right let's get to work man i ain't got all day you guys always lollygag and and i waste time let's go all right probably the dumbest thing i attempted in a long time i want to try to get that big old dog house in the back of that truck by myself i don't know I need to back the truck up a little so that the rear end drops and I can get it on the two-wheel cart and maybe just set it on the tailgate and push it in and then haul it down to Peter's. And I got to do a quick repair on this one. This one isn't going to be good for him because uh, it doesn't have a roof, but I can probably fix that with a roof. I just need to put some more wood on there. Ah, look at it. It's all rotted now. Trash. We'll burn that. So... That one and one in the yard is what I want to give them. But we'll see. Let me back this truck up where it's down a little lower. All right. Probably the dumbest plan ever. This thing is extremely heavy. Probably the last task I do for the day. Get on out uh, yeah. think uh, I should be doing this let's just see <clears throat> yeah 
Is it even possible? I need, yeah, I need to tip it onto said tailgate. Oh, oh, it's heavy. It is heavy. He ain't heavy. He's my doghouse. <clears throat> okay. Why don't you pretend you're 21 again? <laughs> That's a great idea. Oh, it ain't, it ain't happening, man. Hey, I got an idea. Okay, plan B. We're not lifting it. Oh. This is a good old doghouse. Not insulated, but, all right, I'll come back with plan B. All right, here's plan B. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. I might be getting old, but I ain't stupid. She gone. She gone. I'm gonna have to take this with me. Uh-huh. Know what I'm saying? going down a road. I'll wedge some apparatus in there to keep that from falling out. Alright, as soon as my phone comes back on, said I didn't have service, I'll head down the <laughs> out I found that whole bag of syringes I had that's to give dogs medication wormer and I could have used that with Waldo and here they all are laying on the floor so I'm gonna get these bar stools out of here I'm gonna pull these bikes out one at a time I'll show you the ones I want to sell uh, I can go through them real quick this Ingway right now i looked this morning that is on that is on sale for 1099 and i'll make you a whole much better deal and i'm keeping the rattan the muck pet foldable bike sells for 869 right now i'll let that go cheap i'm gonna keep that no the vitinia which is also a folded bike that sells for 1199 and I'll let that go cheap. And I'm keeping that big rattan. And then there's one in the house that sells for 700. And I also want to sell that. I'll show you that in a minute. So let me get these out and film them for you. And like I said, if you're interested, make me an offer. I got my email in the description under info. And send me an offer. Don't insult me. I know I didn't pay for them, but I know what they're worth. I'll just take them to the pawn shop if I have to. They'll buy them. I just want out. I want them out of here. So here's what I got. And no, I'm not giving them away. All right, here's the three in the middle that I want to get rid of. And then the one in the house. You guys can go watch the reviews on them if you want to see more about them. 
they're in my uh, product review playlist and this thing here is a monster so this is for a tall person that's a big bike so these aren't these anybody could ride tall or short both of them and both of them fold in half so really easy to transport you could come pick those up in a car no problem but this one yeah this one's big and i'm keeping that one, and i'm gonna keep this other baton because they got they got a battery that you can interchange with both of them where you can hook up two batteries and I, that's my favorite bike right there so these three are for sale make me an offer and uh like i said i'm not coming to get uh deliver them or any of that so if you're close by and you want an e-bike make me an offer we'll work a deal all right i'm not gonna waste any more time on these i gotta get in here let's go look at this all right we got some room uh that i have to go through these totes they got tools still they still got tools from the addition and then i got some things on here not all of this needs to uh go into the shop but i can add more pegs in here <coughs> and you know hang some stuff up i got a toolbox i got all these junky uh ryobi tools i gotta find the charger get them whatever i got some more of this screws and bolts and a lot of this i don't know but there's just tools stuck everywhere and we need to get get things organized and i'll just i want to make more room so i can bring a couple of them bikes back well they're all got to come back in tonight <coughs> but we can make more room just stuff everywhere man all right or if i can just recruit some gang members man for these bikes we could get some leather jackets put some patches on there and just go create havoc everywhere gang let's start a gang got those bins out got the stuff separated i want to keep now it's just a tedious thing of going through this getting rid of what i want to get rid of i do got some empty totes to put some things in stack neatly uh it's harder than you think to throw stuff out man see i got more of these yeah all plumbing parts you wouldn't believe how many things i've found so far that I've repurchased, like hose clamps and hinges, screws, different, certain bolts. Man, just got to be more organized is all. Yes, I ain't going to film a whole lot of what I'm going to do next, but I do need to get this swept out. I need to get that lawnmower in here for the winter, get the battery pulled out of it. So I probably want to get it close to the wall here get some of this stuff out of the way i'm gonna need that tank out of here and just organize yeah why am i keeping stuff like that and that that's got to go i mean it ain't like that stuff's a hundred dollars a sheet it's fifteen dollars a sheet some of them are useful like that piece but is it worth keeping it all around like that yeah i'll figure out something to do with it uh might throw a few more screws and nails into the walls yeah the bottom line is i'm gonna need a bigger shed one of, one of these days so that's something to think about like this old mag light i ain't never ever gonna buy batteries and use that hey man that's a good pair of tip snaps right there see could have used them instead of went out buying more look at that bowl wash that out put a salad in there Oh yeah, I don't eat salad anymore. What's this? Oh, uh, I don't know. Gadgets and hoses and solar parts. Yeah, see, I gotta go through. I don't even remember what that is. 
Oh, that's my new router that I bought and forgot about. See? That needs to go out. No, that can stay out of here. I don't know. But I got two saws to get in here. So I got to organize this wall here. Drew, there's your pressure cooker you were asking me about. I still got it. I will get that out. We can get that to you. Uh, weed mat. Don't need that right now. Old saws and nail guns. That's just your typical shed stuff. All right, let me get to work because I got to get these bikes back in here. More organized and the mower and the saws. And it's going to be full when I'm done. He's just a happy-go-lucky guy. Thankful for life. He just waddles around in his new uh, yard. He's been out here all morning. What's going on, Waddles? Waddles. You looking for the last bit of green? You better get it while it's there. Where's your girls? They're in there. He says, I need some me time. Women, leave me alone. Bottles blue. Rooster extraordinaire. Come here. She is just goes through her phases, man. You know I never hit you. Come here. I got to get her something for her arthritis. She's got it pretty bad. She gets up. She just has a hard time walking. I know the feeling, Millie. I know the feeling. Let me try to get her something. She's just looking for a warm place to lay in the sun. It's starting to warm up. Where's Miss Tilly? It's beautiful out. Y'all see any UFOs up there? Take a gander. I can't see. What's that orange thing? Oh, that's the sun. Looks like something's jumping out from it, though. What is that? I can't see. I don't know. Uh, there's a... We'll just go take a look. Well, there's Tilly right there, Mo. Millie Mo Cow. Let's go see. She says, leave me alone. Don't come put that camera on my face. You're turning into a pork belly. You are. As much as you run around and play, how you and you're just laying in that junk. That's because you're silly. Okay, I'm going to get back to work, guys. i got to get back to work pretty nippy last night so i got the dog's heating pads in there those things get really really warm they just lay on them it heats it up i got their heated bucket and i got that run so all i gotta do tonight is plug them in put it on low that should be good for them they still get in the same dog house but when they discover there's heat they'll be in their own separate ones then i gotta get on this pile and start cutting this stuff up uh, keep getting rid of what I don't want and get it into manage manageable pieces And there's more junk in here, but that that's gonna help getting that out of here. Let's go fire up this generator All right, I got everything from this side either put up somewhere or shoved over here I ain't going crazy with this today. I just need to get stuff ready for winter Get the mower in here over in this far corner and then get some bikes back in here Take the air conditioner out put it up here uh my generator i don't think i started this anytime this year so let's see if we can get it started uh, winter's coming man dang that thing's full but it, it still smells good because i use good gas in there uh let's see if we can't fire that up and that usually stays in that corner so i don't have to drag it out too far now i got the solar generators but you know, those are only good for so long, and you still got to charge them. Uh, if you got a cloudy day, we have an ice storm, may not be able to do it. So let's see if we can get that started. Then I'm going to, yeah, man, we got room now. That air conditioner is the one I took out of the dog department. Uh, dog department. The dog apartment. It works. It blows cold. It just the fan. I think the fan's all clogged up so i'm going to hang on to it it still may be good i just need to clean it out but that ain't going to happen probably till spring 
whatever happens. What you doing, baby girl? You're not in the sun. The sun's out there. Yeah. I bet you're losing weight. I, you sure look like it. Yeah. Eating that sweet potatoes and stuff yesterday. That's good for you. All right. What's your sister rooster? Why don't you go up there where she's at? She's got the sun. <laughs> I know said there'll be days like this. on where's the fuel I bet it's been two years since I fired this dude up okay for some reason I got the choke taped who is that some sticky tape there's choke I pull my pants up because they're too big for me Hell, well, let's see what we got. Come on. Main breaker. I don't need that. Woohoo! Two years! I promise I did not start that before. That sounds great. Wow, I can't believe that started. I'm gonna let this run a while. It's been at least two years since I started that thing. Second pull, second, third pull. That's amazing. That is the first thing, I, the very first thing I purchased 12 years ago when I moved to Arkansas. The very first thing. Got it from the pawn shop I worked at. Uh, it's just a Harbor Freight one. It's never failed to start. I, the only thing I've had to do to it is uh, put on a new string. I do need to probably change oil in that thing. I can't remember. I think I have before. I would hope so. Yeah. Oh, it's been, it was serviced a couple years ago. That's right. Uh, yeah, man. I'm going to let it run about 15 minutes. And then bring the mower. Go ahead and mow, uh, air up the tire and get that ramp and get that mower up in there. Be right back. All right. I got a flat tire on the mower. But I can't find an air chuck anywhere. I gotta have three or four of them. So I'm gonna have to roll it in here backwards on a flat. That's all I can do. Gotta get it in here.
come off the rim. I'll just buy a new one next year. They you can get them at Harbor Freight for I don't know, 25 bucks. Come on the rim, you just throw them out. It's a lot easier than fixing them. Trust me. All right, now I got to get the battery out for the winter. If you take the batteries out of them every summer or before you put them away for the winter, they'll last you twice as long. And then I charge them up before I put them away. And then when you go to get it in the spring, you got a full charge. So let me get this out. And we're good. Now this is how the two folding bikes do. And I didn't take the handlebars down on that, but it, the, you just pull a lever and the handlebars will go forward like these. And then you just swing them up and lock them in place, man. They take up a whole lot less room that way. Okay, you can get that in the trunk of a car more than likely. Or a hatchback. Most cars are hatchbacks now or SUVs, whatever. But they'll fit because them handlebars will do the same thing. And yeah, these these two would do about 30 miles an hour, I think. Pretty nice bikes. I like that muck pit. That's the one, if you watch the video, I took it out in the pasture. That thing was fun. All right, three more to get in here. I got two saws to get in here. And they're going to all be, I could put one saw on top of that because I'm going to be needing them throughout the winter. Take that in the house, charge it. And actually that can probably go in the shop. Need to get my air compressor in here. But all that needs to be where I can get to it when I need it. All right. Got everything back in here and more. We added the mower, the air compressor, the saws, a few more things. Well, the auger. That thing hadn't run in almost two years since I buried Libby. That thing started right up. I just dumped the old gas, put new in, fired right up. Handy to have, but you don't use them all the time. That's another uh, Harbor Freight product. Have no problems with it. All right, we got these in. I can get any of them out real simple. Just wheel a few out and get to any of them. So again, if anybody's interested, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to load about three or four of them up. Take them and sell them. Because I want them out of here. Look at that beast. That dude's huge. That's bigger than that one. That's a fun bike, though. But uh, I'm going to keep the Rattans. That one. That one. And... I also have that one in the house if y'all want to check out that review, that TST, that's a city bike. Yeah, that'll be a cheap one for somebody. Just make me an offer, send me an email, otherwise you got about a week, because I'm going to get rid of them. They're not going to sit out here all winter. Comes with the battery, the charger, and if I can find the manual. But I can show you the ropes, or you, can, you always got my, my review to go watch. Yep. All right, what else I got to do? Uh, tidy up and then haul this. All right, that's where the video ends. No feelings have been hurt this time. I appreciate if you've watched to the end. I know I've previously released this. There were a few mistakes in there I needed to correct anyway. There was a clip that was in there twice of me starting that generator. I didn't like that, but I didn't take it out the first time. I didn't catch it. But video's long enough. Let's get some more revenue from it. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.